Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. Now in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 20. But we're not going to use pictures, we're not going to use the number line, we're just going to work through the tens and units. Firstly, do you recall the different symbols when comparing numbers? The different symbols are that means less than, the equals you know, and greater than. So let's have a look at our first example. Now let's suppose we have these numbers. We've got 18 and 14. 18 and 14. Which way does the arrow point to? Which of the symbols do we put between 18 and 14? Now there's more than one way to work this out. The first way is to simply just count from 0 or in this case from 10 upwards whichever number appears first that is the smaller number. The other way to do this is to have a look at the different digits we have. So in this case number 18 we've got 8 units and we've got 110. The number 14 we've got 4 units and 110. Now this is an easy example because the tens, there's one here and there's one here. So in effect we can just cancel them or ignore them. The difference is going to lie with the units. We've got 8 and we've got 4. Now we know from that which number is larger. Well between 8 and 4 the larger number is 8. The smaller number is 4. So therefore the symbol we have to use is this one. 18 is larger than 14. Now it's important that you learn to work it out this way when you because it will help when we are working through larger and much larger numbers. So 18 is greater than 14. And always remember, make sure the arrow is pointing to the smaller number. 4 is smaller than 8. The tens are the same, so we can ignore them. For the units, 4 is smaller than 8, so the arrow is pointing in the right direction. Let's have a look at our second example. Now let's suppose we have the number 13 and we've got 17. 13 and 17. Now again, what we can do is count from 0, or in this case count from 10 upwards, until we reach the first number and that will be the smaller number. But that's not always possible when we are dealing with larger numbers. So let's work through the tens and the units. So we've got 110 here, we've got three units. We've got 110 here and seven units. So again, the same applies. We've got 110 here and 110 here, so we can ignore them. The only difference is the units. We've got 3 and 7. Now we know that 3 is smaller than 7. 3 is smaller than 7. So which arrow do we use? Well, it's this one. Three, 13, well 3 is less than 7, therefore 13 is less than 17. Just to double check, the arrow, is it pointing in the right direction? Well, it's pointing at 3, or 13 in this case, which is smaller than 7, or 17 in this case. 3 is smaller than 7, 13 is smaller than 17. So the arrow is pointing in the right direction. 
and it really is as simple as that when we are comparing numbers up to 20. Again, we've said this before, we'll say it again, always make sure that the arrow is pointing towards the smaller number.